Earth is dotted with thousands of volcanoes spread across continents. Ranging in size from tiny cones to massive calderas and shields, some are even underwater, called submarine volcanoes. Mauna Loa, an active shield volcano in Hawaii, is the largest of all these volcanoes. Mauna Loa, which means Long Mountain in Hawaiian, covers over 5,000 square kilometers and is one of a chain of five volcanoes that form Hawaii's Big Island. Its height is over 4 kilometers above sea level, but its base is on the seafloor. From base to summit, Mauna Loa is taller than Mount Everest at 9,170 meters and it spans at a maximum width of 120 kilometers. The volcano's summit hosts three overlapping craters of different sizes. The largest among these craters measures 5 by 3.2 kilometers with a maximum depth of 180 meters. Mauna Loa started erupting in November 2022, the first time since 1984. Earth's beloved moon is also home to volcanoes such as cones, domes, and a volcanic feature called a lunar maria. However, it does not have any massive or large volcanoes, unlike Earth, and most of its volcanoes are long extinct. There are dome fields that can be found on the moon, the largest of which is called the Marius Hills. These volcanic domes range in height from 200 to 500 meters and form a 35,000 square kilometer plateau of lava. The Marius Hills contain approximately half of the moon's known volcanic domes as well as other volcanic features. Venus is considered Earth's identical twin, and although they are almost similar in mass, size and density, the environment of Venus is hostile. It does not have water, and the atmosphere is heavily dominated by carbon dioxide. It's so hot, the surface temperature could reach 470 degrees Celsius, or about 880 degrees Fahrenheit. Like Earth, Venus is also home to volcanoes, a hundred thousand of them at least. In fact, Venus houses more volcanoes than any other planet in the solar system. The largest of all these Venusian volcanoes is Theomans, a shield volcano situated in Beta Regio, one of the regions of Venus. Thea Mons is over 4 km high, has a 3 km deep point below its peak, and its lava flows cover an area of more than 800 km across. Its oval-shaped caldera is roughly 70 km long and 50 km wide. Like all the Venusian volcanoes, not much is known about the volcano's eruptive history or status. Most of them are probably extinct, and a few may still be active. Jupiter's third largest moon, called Io, is the solar system's most volcanically active body, with hundreds of active volcanoes peppered throughout its surface. Some of which are erupting lava fountains reaching hundreds of kilometers high. The largest volcanic feature on Io is called Loki Patera. Loki Patera is a volcanically active depression containing a lava lake, about 200 kilometers across. The hot region has a surface area of 21,500 square kilometers, or about 8,300 square miles. On March 8, 2015, Europa passed in front of Io, blocking out light from the volcanic moon. Because Europa's surface is coated in water ice, it reflects very little sunlight at infrared wavelengths, allowing researchers to accurately isolate the heat, emanating from volcanoes on Io's surface. Mars, the red planet, is no exception when it comes to volcanoes. In fact, this planet is home to Olympus Mons, solar system's largest known volcano. Olympus Mons is a shield volcano, towering at an impressive height of at least 22 kilometers and a diameter of over 600 kilometers. Its summit caldera is 80 kilometers wide and has a depth of about 3 kilometers. To compare, the volume of Olympus Mons is about 100 times larger than that of Mauna Loa, Earth's largest active volcano. In fact, the entire chain of Hawaiian islands, from Kauai to Hawaii, would fit inside this volcano. There are other massive Martian volcanoes aside from Olympus Mons that are located in the Tharsis region, like the Ascraeus Mons, Arcea Mons and the Pavonis Mons. All of which are shield volcanoes. Not much is known about the Martian volcano's history or status. Scientists posit that Olympus Mons is a dormant volcano and that there is a good chance that it will erupt at some point in the future. <laughs>